What's up guys right here? Um This is gonna be one of like the basic tutorials. This will probably come alongside the uh like more advanced tutorials that I've been teaching. Uh but this one is gonna be like quick just how to use uh user input service and then I'm gonna tie another like basic uh scripted tutorial of how to use remote events so you can learn how to put those two together. So user input service only works in the local script. So just make a local script and starter pack, right? And then in order to reference it, you need to do local, and I like to use UIS, but you can use literally anything for the name of the variable. Is equal to game colon get service, and then type in user input service. So this allows you to get input, whether you're using a mouse and keyboard, a controller, mobile phones, etc. So uh, let's just make like a let's do keyboard first. Okay. So in order to get the input, we have to use the function input begin, right? And then colon connect function. Okay, and this is the full function from UIS to end with the close parentheses. And um, UIS has two very like two parameters as the input, which is the button that you press, and then it has so I want to call this UI interaction, so to speak. But pretty much, I like to do is typing because it just makes a lot more sense um but you can pretty much call this anything but this what this does is check and see if you're like interacting with like the menu or like you're in the roblox settings or whatever you know and it checks or like if you're in like chat and you like typing in chat then this won't run because you're in chat right so in order to actually cause that from happening what you want to do is if is typing then return right so if you're typing or interacting with any UI or anything it won't activate so next is for the input so we're gonna do keyboard first so we're gonna do an else if right since we have if right here we're not gonna put another if we're gonna do else if just to, like continue it and then we're gonna do input dot now depending on what input you're using will depend on what like uh i don't want to say property but sort of like the function or like a property maybe yeah i'll say like sort of like a property or whatever you have to call on since we're using a uh, mouse right not mouse keyboard i'm gonna do key code right which is for the keyboard and then you want to see if it's equal to enum dot key code dot the button that you want to press so let's say if i want my button to be a now i can put a if i want it to be b blah 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 i'm gonna just do e and then then right and then we're going to do print you press e right so now as we run this and we'll be loading you press E and the output it says you've pressed E so yeah that's how you do keyboard so now we can do mouse right so else if input now since mouse is not a key code we have to use user input type right and then we gotta do enum dot user input type right you see that pattern here so dot key code dot key code that use input type that use input type you have to keep those consistent and then this will focus on like the controller the mouse and like a mobile phone so simply since we're gonna do a mouse right 
I'm going to do mouse button. Now button 1 is left click, button 2 is right click, and button 3 is middle mouse button or your scroll wheel. You can also use mouse wheel when you move it up and down and stuff. And it will also act like that. So we're going to do mouse button 1, then print. You've left click. You left click. Okay, so now when we test, get into it, we left click, and we left click. So right, I mean E button, and left click. So that's just like a simple tutorial how to use user input service. Um, the next one will be remote event, and I will tie those two together. Okay, uh, and maybe we'll go somewhere else with that. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, um, hope you enjoyed like this short tutorial. Uh, if you like it, hit that like button, share, sub. Let me know in the comments if you want like more of the like basic stuff so you can get a better like hold of like the basics of scripting. Cause like a lot of people like to skip the basics, but what they don't know is like if you want a shortcut, like your shortcut is learning those basics. You can't skip them like that those are essential but yeah um next part will be our remote events uh thanks for watching